Hi, my name is Greg Paglia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about the most cost-effective repair option for a commercial EPDM roof. And really, this is kind of just a highlight of a case study we have on our website. It's for Gorilla Glue. They had a 1 million square foot EPDM roof. They had some leaks and they're looking, what's a cost-effective cost way to get this roof watertight and repaired? And so they decided to go with a silicone restoration membrane, um, just because it's cost-effective. Uh, but why is that so? Um, so it's cost effective because it reduces the amount of tear off. Actually, it, I take that back, it minimizes the amount of tear off because we only remove the saturated areas of the roof. You know, Gorilla Glue was a million square feet and we only removed 2.5% of that roof. Now, if another contractor came in and proposed a 100% tear off, I don't even know what the cost would be to remove a million square foot roof and put a new one on. It'd probably be pretty pricey. Um, but to put silicone coating over an existing roof, definitely a cost effective way. Another way is to look at you know, some lifetime costs. Um, an EPDM roof is, is darker colored and silicone roof coatings, they could be gray or, or white. And when you put a lighter colored roof on, you're adding the reflectivity of your roof. Um, ballpark numbers are you can reduce your energy costs by 15 to 30 percent. Certainly, there's a lot of variables in there, but just turning your roof, you know, from black to white, it helps with the sun. Roof's cooler, the building's cooler, and your HVAC costs are lower. Uh, but what makes a good candidate for a silicone roof coating system? Um, really, the roof has to be 25 percent saturated or less. So when we come out and see how much of your insulation is wet, usually if it's 25% or under, it's a good candidate. If it's over, um, you're, probably better, you're probably better off just ripping it all off and starting over. Um, the roof has had an annual inspection. Um, you know, all roofs have issues with them, but you need people to come up there and check on them to minimize the damage. And if no one's been on the roof in a year or two, you know, one little hole could let water in, it could damage a large area of the roof. So if it's been neglected for years, it's probably not a good candidate. And then it's if the seams are attached or not. Again, if the seams are unattached, a lot of water's probably getting in, it's probably gonna be too saturated to be able to re-roof. Um, that's really it. Uh, if you learn, wanna learn more about Gorilla Glue and the whole process of how um, silicone went over it, uh, please click the link in the description. It'll be right there. And if you have any other questions about um, anything at all, please let us know. Hope you learned something new and I'll see you next time. Thank you.